Reverend Insanity Chapter 376 Fang Yuan Court's Death On the mountain peak, three light pillars of red, blue, and yellow presented themselves before the people. Compared to the start, observant people could see that these three pillars had dimmed greatly, at the same time their size had shrunk less than half of the original. This goo immortal blessed land that originated from ancient times had reached its final moments. After being remodeled by the three kings, it was starting to collapse under the plundering of countless goo masters. It was like a sinking ship. The seawater had submerged more than half of it, only the sail and mast are still floating. Old clan leader Tai Yu first. After considering for a while, Wu Lan Shan cupped her fists politely at Tai Mubai. Among the rank five Gu masters present, Tai Mubai was still the one with greatest strength. On this Sancha mountain, he was the number one person of the rank fives. Even throughout southern border, he was a top tier rank five Gu master. Tai Mubai's status was publicly recognized. Even opponents like Ku Mo and Wu Gui had to admit this point. Tai Mubai looked at the three pillars, nodding, Then I will go first. His every action was under everyone's observation. The few thousand Gu masters at the inheritance entrance were all looking at him. Tai Mubai took the lead, entering King Xin inheritance. Wu Gui and Ku Mo looked at each other, since Tai Mu Bai chose King Xin inheritance, they should avoid encountering him. Between rank 5 Gu masters, they tend to avoid such unnecessary competition. The final battle at the end was the stage for them to unleash their true abilities. After Tai Mu Bai, Wu Lan Shan, Wang Xiao, and the others all chose their respective entrances, entering the inheritance. Next, Yi Huo was the first rank 4 peak stage Gu Master to enter, followed by the others. On San Cha Mountain, righteous and demonic Gu Masters were gathered together. Enemies who usually fought on site became extremely orderly when it came to such huge benefits. But at this moment, the quiet mountain peak became noisy. First, it was the Gu Masters standing at the outside area discussing among themselves. Soon, Gu masters in the inner circle also turned their heads to look. It is the black and white twin demons, they are finally back. Some recognized the source of the commotion and exclaimed, They are the black and white twin demons, the recent rising stars of the demonic path. Some people saw Fang and Bai for the first time and observed them closely. These two youngsters are not simple. One was trapped by the Thai clan old-timers for months without falling. The other is even stronger, fighting seven Thai clansmen single-handedly and even killing Thai Ba Ziyu, someone introduced. Fang and Bai had caused a great commotion in Sancha Mountain, it left a deep impression on them. Now, many people could still vividly recall the scene. Thai Ba Ziyu, I fought against him before. Fang Zheng is truly not simple being able to kill him at such a young age. Someone nodded, his expression turning solemn. From what I see, his present age overlord is just an overstatement. Letting a junior get famous, he is a disgrace to his generation. A Gu master scoffed. So what if the black and white demons came? Times are different now. On Sancha Mountain, there are six rank five Gu masters. The two of them are rank four Gu masters, they can't do anything here. That's right, especially after Fang Zheng killed some Thai clansmen, Tai Mu Bai would not let him off. But he is really daring, still having the guts to come here. Isn't it obvious, he only dared to show up after Tai Mu Bai entered the inheritance. The people discussed softly, all sorts of gazes were on Fang and Bai. Curiosity, inspection, solemn and frivolous. There were also many others who did not look at them, but placed their sights on another person. This person was standing among the rank four Gu masters, tight clothing with eyes shining like stars, tightly knit eyebrows, it was Tai Ruo Nan. Tai Ruo Nan was a rank four Gu master. She naturally stood with the rank four Gu masters to enter the inheritance. Although Tai Mubai was the number one person on Sancha Mountain, he had to follow the rules and be an example. Otherwise, he would not be able to control the Gu masters on Sancha Mountain. This was the conduct of a leader of the righteous path. 
Fang Zheng, it's you. Tai Ruo Nan stood out from the people, staring fiercely at Fang Yuan, her tone extremely agitated. Seeing Fang Yuan, the enemy who had so many Tai clansmen's blood on his hands, the young girl's heart was filled with hatred and anger, she wanted to go and kill him immediately. Her tightly clenched fists slowly loosened, tightened and loosened, loosened and tightened. Such a repetitive action showed the struggle in her heart. Eventually, Tai Ruo Nan opened her palm, breathing out deeply, her eyes regaining clarity. Little Beast King, you do not have to worry about old clan leader's attack. Your life is mine, one day I will kill you and offer it to the heroic spirit of my Tai clansmen. Just you wait. Saying so, the young girl turned around and entered the light pillar, vanishing. Is Tai Ruo Nan afraid? She left without fighting. It seems Little Beast King's dominance remains, this Tai clan young master did not dare to battle. I feel that this young girl was smart. The Three Kings' inheritance is in front of her. Such a rare event should be treasured. What is the point of fighting and killing now? Fang Yuan frowned deeply. Tai Ruo Nan's performance surprised him. Being able to control her furious emotions, it was not an easy task. Many famous Gu masters could not do it. Tai Ruo Nan, I cannot let you grow further. This was rare, Fang Yuan felt threat from someone of the same generation. The things Tai Mu Bai taught Tai Ruo Nan were not a secret, everyone knew about it. Fang Yuan, of course, knew clearly. Tai Ruo Nan had talent, aptitude, and her heart was determined. Adding in the nurturing of the clan, she was like a swallow soaring into the heavens one day, she will rise beyond the clouds and turn into a phoenix. Controlling the killing intent in his heart, Fang Yuan walked towards the inheritance entrance. A large portion of the rank four Gu masters gave way to them immediately. Hold it. Suddenly, a righteous Gu master walked up and blocked their paths. This righteous Gu master wore white clothing, his sleeves were wide and swayed with the wind, and he had a handsome face. It was none other than Yun Clan's Yun Clan leader, Yun Liu Tian. Little Beast King, I heard you killed Tai Ba Ziyu. Yun Luo Tian stood before Fang Yuan. After giving him a glance, he started to observe Bai Ning Bing. Do you know, he pointed at Fang Yuan, saying arrogantly, you won in an unfair way, you used a flying goo and killed a member of my righteous faction, you took the easy way out. The atmosphere was extremely heavy. Yun Luo Tian's words were very offensive, and Fang Yuan was an arrogant person. At this rate, they were going to fight. Many Gu masters took steps back, getting away from these two. Under everyone's gaze, Fang Yuan's eyes were eerie as he looked at Yun Luo Tian, nodding, suddenly laughing. You are right, I used a loophole and killed Tai Ba Ziyu, sorry about that. Yun Luo Tian was stunned, he did not think that this little beast king would reply this way. Isn't this different from the information about him? These years of closed cultivation, he had trained in the art of flying. He feels that his flying skills were not inferior to the few flying experts of southern border. Thus, he wanted to challenge Fang Yuan and build his reputation. But Fang Yuan was so courteous, he could not continue finding problems with him. Demonic cultivators were evil and ruthless, but he was a righteous member and the young clan leader of Yun Clan, his every action was closely inspected after all, it represented Yun Clan's image. Yun Liu Tian stood dazed for a moment before calming his mind. We let young master Tai Ruo Nan go first because we admire old clan leader Tai Mu Bai. Since you know you had an unfair victory, you should stand down now. There are so many heroes and geniuses here, it is not your turn to enter yet. Yun Liu Tian waved his sleeve at Fang Yuan, speaking plainly. Although he secretly flattered the people around him, it caused them to become even more nervous, and everyone felt a storm approaching. Just as everyone was preparing for battle, Fang Yuan took a step back. Sir makes sense. It was my fault, you guys should go first. Yun Liu Tian laughed loudly, waving his sleeves and relaxed, walking towards the light pillar, entering after tens of steps. Although he did not fight with Fang Yuan, he felt the gains were greater. 
Not long after, words would spread that he challenged Little Beast King verbally and scared this demonic rising star till he retreated. At that time, his reputation would surge and Yun Clan's reputation in the Righteous Faction would rise as well. After Yun Luo Tian entered the inheritance, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing entered King Bao inheritance together. Seeing them disappear, the remaining rank four Gu masters started conversing. Is this still little beast king? He is so polite. Did he take the wrong medicine, or did I see wrongly? This world is changing too quickly. He he, little beast king gave in, he is such a coward. If it was me, I would have rolled up my sleeves and fought. Thigh, his opponent is Yun Luo Tian after all. Although Yun clan is not a super clan, it is still a first class clan. After his vision of the spinning world calmed down, Fang Yuan assessed his surroundings. Gray-white sky, light red ground, extended towards the horizons. On the ground, there were pieces of volcanic rocks, hot rising steam, or gray dust cloud. Devil again, they descended again. My companions quickly gather together. As long as we fight together, we can defeat the Demon King. Come, our Hongdan village can only be protected by ourselves. The top of volcanic rocks were flipped over and tiny humans walked out. These tiny people were the size of babies, they were pink and tender, extremely cute. Most importantly, at the middle of their chests, they had a cute and round red egg. These were the Eggmen. Similar to the hairy men, they were variant humans. Fang Yuan gave a glance and knew these were the red eggmen among the eggmen. The egg on them were red and they used the large volcanic rocks to build their houses and lived inside. At this moment, Fang Yuan could only use one exploding egg goo. King Bao Inheritance's aim was to make Fang Yuan use the exploding egg goo to exterminate these red eggmen. That way, he can advance to the next round. Facing the assaulting Red Eggman, Fang Yuan did not move. He let them attack him. These attacks accumulated, quickly injuring him heavily. Fang Yuan could not breathe properly, he was bathed in blood, and the feeling of death was creeping up on him. At this moment, even if he used the exploding egg goo, it could not change the situation. Letting himself get into such a dangerous situation, Fang Yuan's lips curled into a smile. This moment has finally arrived. Chapter 377 Refining an Immortal Goo A bunch of short red eggmen encircled Fang Yuan, attacking constantly. A. Is this devil a fool? Why is he not moving? If only all devils were such fools, that would be great. Do not let your guard down, devils are extremely crafty, quickly kill him. Seeing Fang Yuan about to die, the Red Eggman cheered victoriously. But at this moment, a formless energy descended and swept Fang Yuan away. Falling into encirclement, the dying and unconsciously Fang Yuan vanished without a trace, leaving behind a bunch of shocked Red Eggman. When Fang Yuan woke up from his slumber, the scenery before him was completely different than before. This was a dark blue-colored hall. The hall was extremely plain, made with large cube bronze blocks. There were a lot of moss on the blocks, showing how long they have already existed. Fang Yuan laid on the center of the hall, feeling the chill from the bronze block under his back. I've already healed your injuries. A large tortoise opened its wrinkled eyes slowly, staring at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan slowly got up from the ground, first touching his own body, his injuries were truly healed. Next, he looked around the hall in a calm expression. Lastly, he turned his gaze over towards the huge tortoise before him. This huge tortoise was large as a house, a thick and hard jade thin shell on its back. Its four legs were like elephant legs, and there were two dragon whiskers growing out of its face. Fang Yuan looked at this huge tortoise, his lips curling into a smile as his smile turned into laughter. Ha ha ha, his laughter echoed in the hall. He purposely courted death, not even using the spring autumn cicada. It was all because of his previous life's knowledge and information. There was a huge risk involved. It could be said, one wrong move and game over. But a demonic cultivator moved forward relentlessly. They were most skilled at all in gambles. 
Right now, Fang Yuan reached the main hall and his risks had all paid off. After laughing heartily, Fang Yuan stopped laughing, facing the huge tortoise. Land spirit Bagui, you finally awakened from your slumber. You know me? The huge tortoise's voice created vibrations as there was some suspicion in its eyes. That's right, I know you, and I also know the secret of this blessed land. Fang Yuan nodded, walking in the hall with his hands behind his back. This blessed land originated from an ancient strength path Gu Immortal. The Gu Immortal protected the blessed land, resisting calamities and tribulations, but eventually he died in one of the tribulations. His dying wish gathered with this blessed land's heavenly power, formed the land spirit. That is you, Bagui. As long as I complete his wish before he died, I can become the new owner of this blessed land, am I right about that? Fang Yuan spoke openly, not beating about the bush. Although the land spirit is formed from the Gu Immortal, it is no longer human, but merely the Immortal's will. Using an explanation from Earth, that would be a pre-programmed AI one. As long as the land spirit's requirement is met, one can gain its recognition and become the new owner of the blessed land. Thus, when Fang Yuan spoke, there was no need for any schemes or plots. The huge tortoise nodded. That's right, his final wish before dying is also the blessed land's test. As long as you can complete it, you can become my master. And the contents of this wish is to refine the second aperture Gu right? Fang Yuan followed. During ancient times, strength path flourished, eight out of ten Gu masters walked the strength path. This blessed land's original master was a strength path Gu immortal, he created the recipe for second aperture Gu. But right before the crucial step, he died in a tribulation. After he died, this final obsession became the land spirit. That is, the huge tortoise before Fang Yuan now. To complete this wish, the huge tortoise had been waiting aimlessly. But time passed, and no one that fulfilled the criteria showed up. This fated person had to be a strength path Gu master owned beast phantoms and also strong to a degree. Next, this strength path Gu master had to be on the brink of death to receive this opportunity. This is because the blessed land's previous owner had a lot of lingering grudge and hatred, refusing to let others gain his fortune so easily. But he still wanted to refine the second aperture Gu, Thus, there was such a requirement for the fated person to be as close to death as possible, just like him. Only someone who had shared his emotion could be qualified to gain everything. But time passed, and the calamities and tribulations continued to occur. The land spirit Bagui could not find a suitable strength path Gu Master. To preserve its immortal essence, it could only choose to slumber helplessly. The wide and huge blessed land, after many calamities and tribulations, had shrunk to less than 1% of its original size. One calamity was enough to puncture a thousand holes in the blessed land. Thus, there was a hole created, and a path to the outside world was connected to the blessed land. Three roaming kids came here and relied on the blessed land's resources to cultivate to fruition. These were the three kings of the demonic path. After the three kings got their revenge, they returned to the blessed land to live. As time passed, they got more familiar with the blessed land and were a step away from rank six. But in the end, none of them broke through and before dying, they remodeled the place into the three kings' inheritance ground. The three kings walked on the refinement, fire, and enslavement path. None was a strength path Gu master. The moment the remodeling began, the land spirit was woken up. It watched silently without stopping them. It wanted to use this inheritance to attract qualified strength path Gu Masters as well. When the Three Kings' inheritance opened, countless Gu Masters entered and increased the Blessed Land's immortal essence expenditure. As the Blessed Land faced the risk of destruction, the huge tortoise awakened from its slumber. After waking up, the first thing the land spirit did was to find the fated person. In the entire blessed land, there were many strength path Gu masters. But those who fulfilled its requirements were none. In ancient times, strength path was mainstream. But now that times have changed, strength path was eliminated on the brink of extinction. 
those who truly cultivated strength path to a high level were even rarer. Hearing Fang Yuan talk about the second aperture Gu, the land spirit Bagui was stunned, you know a lot. It felt strange, but did not pursue the matter. To it, the fated person had already been found, now the next target was to refine the second aperture Gu. However, it was not easy to refine second aperture Gu. That is because second aperture Gu was not a mortal Gu, it was a rank 6 immortal Gu. But Fang Yuan was already mentally prepared, directly asking, Second Aperture Gu is a Rank 6 Gu. Rank 5 is Mortal, Rank 6 is Immortal. To refine an Immortal Gu, the most basic condition is Immortal Essence. In the Blessed Land, how much Immortal Essence is left? The tortoise turned its body, gazing deep within the hall. The flooring cracked open as a hole appeared and a bronze cauldron rose slowly. Eventually, the flooring closed up, leaving the cauldron alone in the hall. This cauldron had three legs and two handles. It was filled with immortal essence inside. The immortal essence was a greenish water, crystal clear, and giving off a rusty smell. There was very little immortal essence, only a thin layer left in the cauldron, and as time flowed, it slowly decreased drop by drop. This is because, after the blessed land opened, countless goo masters explored and entered and left multiple times, expending immortal essence. But this is already much better than in my previous life. As long as I ration it properly, Fang Yuan looked at this layer of immortal essence, thinking deeply, as sparks seemed to be flying above his head. In his previous life, after the Three Kings' inheritance opened, the land spirit waited but did not meet its fated owner. Only towards the end of the inheritance did the land spirit find a suitable, dying strength path Gu Master and transported him in. This lucky person was a demonic path member, surviving the ordeal and benefiting from the crisis. However, he was very poor at refining Gu Worms, when he started the refinement process he died. Towards the end, Gu Masters had a great understanding of the Three Kings' inheritance and knew when to advance and retreat. They all had some trump cards or tokens to preserve their lives and could easily leave at will. Towards the end, the Blessed Land could not sustain it much more and Gu Masters could freely use their Gu Worms, fighting and causing bloodshed. Where there are battles, there are deaths and injuries. The land spirit found a chance and chose a few strength path goo masters from among them. But by then, it was already too late. There was a severe lack of immortal essence and the land spirit was severely weakened, unable to do anything. In the end, the blessed land continued to break down as goo masters found this hall. Arriving here, they battled with the land spirit and killed the strength path goo master who was refining the goo. Only then did they know that Sancha Mountain's blessed land held such a secret. But at that time, immortal essence was expended and the land spirit was dead, the goo refinement ended in utter failure. The legendary second aperture goo became extinct before the first one was even created. Second aperture goo, allowing a goo master to have a second aperture. Even an idiot would know the value of this goo. I have a great aptitude now, one aperture holds 90% primeval essence. If I have the second aperture goo, I would have 180% primeval essence. At the same time, I can have double the primeval essence recovery speed and even a second set of goo worms. My battle strength will surge and create history for myself. Once I succeed, I will definitely be the strongest person among the same rank. Fang Yuan was secretly excited. But to refine this immortal goo, the process was really difficult, it would not be an easy task. Even Tai Mu Bai would feel stunned at this. But to Fang Yuan, it was another situation altogether. Firstly, he was a rank 6 goo immortal in his past life who used the spring autumn cicada to rebirth, he also succeeded in refining the spring autumn cicada, he had the precious experience of creating an immortal goo. Secondly, ever since the Three Kings' inheritance opened, he had been plotting. He challenged Strength Path Goo Masters everywhere, eliminating his competition. Zhu Sansi, Century Boy, they were all chosen by the Land Spirit in his previous life, but now they died in Fang Yuan's hands. 
Lastly, he had the help of the land spirit. In his previous life, the land spirit was already very weak when he saw the first lucky person. Towards the end, it was so feeble it got killed by a bunch of mortals. But this life was different. Fang Yuan approached death purposely, coming here in advance, he would receive great help from the land spirit. Back then, that Gu immortal had made ample preparations to refine this Gu. With such a foundation, I have at least 50% chance of succeeding in this refinement. Back when Fang Yuan refined Spring Autumn Cicada, he had less than 20% chance of succeeding. Now that he was refining the second Aperture Gu, he had 50%, it was extremely high. Chapter 378, He is Dead Double Chapter Soon, Fang Yuan calmed down. Second Aperture Gu was only an opportunity, to make it a reality, it needed planning and effort. Whether the refinement of second Aperture Gu succeeds or fails, a large amount of immortal essence will be consumed. Without immortal essence, the blessed land cannot contend against the upcoming earthly calamity and heavenly tribulation. That is to say, even if I become the owner of the blessed land, this blessed land can no longer be saved, and I will have to give up on it. Thus, second Aperture Gu will be my greatest reward for this trip. However, the whole matter was not so easy and simple. The situation Fang Yuan was facing now was extremely complex. With the start of the refinement of second Aperture Gu, the remaining immortal essence would start decreasing sharply. The blessed land would weaken greatly and the assistance the land spirit could give would become lesser and lesser. At the same time, he also needed to consider the Gu masters within the blessed land. If they discovered this main hall, they were sure to attack together just like in his previous life and disrupt the process of the Gu refinement. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with sharp light and after pondering for a while, he took the initiative to demand, Land Spirit, tell me the recipe for refining the second Aperture Gu. Land Spirit Ba Gui slowly nodded its head and its deep voice entered Fang Yuan's ears. Then listen properly, this is the full content of the recipe. Rotten soil blood powder, treasure flower in the earth. Jade bone turned into petals, ice mussels into stalks and golden relic into the heart of the flower. A bright stellar fire, gather ice and snow into plains. Yang cloud burns with elixir fire below and yin clouds scatter sand like gold above, add beast phantoms in the middle until lightning crackles, creating beast strength placenta, and start collecting apertures. Wild grass grow wildly, the kai of blood like the sea. 300 years as spring, 500 years as autumn. With unlimited divine opportunity, swim and roam in the wilds, adding in third watch, and another third watch, obtaining nine. 9 as extreme, the refinement is complete. The recipe content was huge and had close to 10,000 words. Fang Yuan's expression turned grave as he listened. There were up to a thousand steps in refining this second Aperture Gu. The early stage involved hundreds of types of materials, the middle stage used up large numbers of rank 4 and rank 5 Gu and it continued to become more arduous as it got closer to the last step, until finally, it needed the use of another rank 6 immortal goo. This is not good, the difficulty in refining second aperture goo is many times higher than I estimated. The intel in my previous life only talked of the early stage of the recipe mixed with much misinterpretation from the people involved. Fang Yuan's heart sank, the 50% confidence he had turned to about 30% after he heard the recipe. You don't need to worry too much, large amounts of materials and goo worms for refining second aperture goo had already been stored in this main hall. With the land spirit's words, the whole main hall was suffused with dark blue light. The brilliant radiance shone over the main hall, the relief sculptures on the surface of the main hall suddenly protruded out and turned into solid. Fang Yuan was amazed at this change. This is clearly a kind of storage method. This is the first time I am seeing it. Sai, many methods of the ancient era had disappeared along the river of time. Materials after materials of all kinds dazzled his eyes. There were at least 5,000 goo worms from rank 1 to rank 5, 
among them, there were over 600 rank 4 Gu and no less than 80 rank 5 Gu. Rank 5 Gu, which were very rare in the outside world, had unexpectedly numbered to almost a hundred at this main hall. And the expensive rank 4 Gu had apparently become as rare as cabbages here. So many top-tier materials. There are so many Gu which I have never seen. These strength path Gu, if I obtain them, my battle strength will definitely rise by over ten folds. And there are also over ten yellow gold relic Gu along with eight purple crystal relic Gu. If I use them, I will be able to advance to rank five peak stage within moments. Fang Yuan looked at these rank 4 and rank 5 Gu, and had a thought of giving up the refinement of second aperture Gu and directly taking all these Gu worms. However, this impulse was immediately extinguished by him. With the land spirit beside him keeping guard, these Gu worms could only be used to refine second aperture Gu, and he was unable to use them for his personal use. Secondly, second aperture goo would be a great help in the future if it was refined, and it would provide enormous help even at rank 6 realm. Second aperture goo was a long-term investment, and its benefits would soar to the sky, especially after one reached rank 6. There is still one extremely crucial goo worm left. Bagui said and opened his eyes, using all his strength to control this main hall. The blue radiance increased sharply and reached an unbearable intensity. The immortal essence in the bronze cauldron began to pleat bit by bit. Fang Yuan narrowed his eyes, and within this blue light, he saw a confined immortal goo. It was like a round gem. The gem's whole body was yellow and was hollow inside with a ball of purple smoke in it. This smoke transformed constantly suddenly turning into a pegasus or an immortal crane the next moment or changing into a moving cloud or pure thunderbolt. Following its appearance, a strong wine fragrance spread through the whole main hall. Fang Yuan took a few breaths and immediately felt drunk. His eyes turned hazy and his mind became dizzy. He immediately held his breath. This is the rank 6 immortal Gu Divine Travel. The Land Spirit Introduced Divine Travel Goo. Fang Yuan opened his eyes wide and stared at this goo without even blinking. Divine Travel Goo was very mysterious and also legendary. Its earliest appearance was in the Legends of Renzu. The Legends of Renzu was the first classic of goo. It appeared to be a story when one first read it, but it actually held profound messages recording the secrets of the ancient times and all kinds of goo. Some goo were directly described like wisdom goo, strength goo, and so on. And some goo were hidden, their descriptions were very vague, requiring the readers to dig through it and study carefully. In the legends of Renzu, divine travel goo's earliest appearance was beside Verdant Great Sun. Verdant Great Sun drank four different top-tier wines in the world. The dense liquor aura in his body congealed into divine travel goo. Divine Travel Goo had the power to send the Goo Master to any place in the world. But its activation required the Goo Master to be in a drunken state, and its destination also could not be controlled. Verdant Great Sun was transported to many dangerous places and suffered a lot due to Divine Travel Goo, his life on the line several times. Divine Travel Goo might be one of the four great movement Goo and is very powerful at that, but its flaw is extremely big, who would dare to use it? Even Verdant Great Sun had no choice but to refine divine travel goo into fixed immortal travel goo in the end. No wonder the original master of this blessed land chose this goo to refine into second aperture goo. Fixed immortal travel goo was also one of the four great movement goo and could send the goo master to any place they wanted to, even if the destination was at the edge of the world. But the prerequisite was that the Goo Master needed to have a concrete impression of their destination. If there was any huge changes to their destination, they would fail in using the fixed immortal travel Goo. Fang Yuan carefully pondered and understood the intentions of this ancient strength path Goo Immortal. Divine Travel Goo might be at the noble rank 6, but its every use carried extremely high risk and had low worth in using. Thus, Verdant Great Sun refined it into fixed immortal travel goo, while this ancient strength path goo master thought of using it to refine second aperture goo. 
the land spirit Ba Gui carefully resealed the divine travel Gu and asked, When do you plan on beginning the refinement? There is no rush, let me first study this recipe properly. Fang Yuan sat cross-legged on the spot and closed his eyes to contemplate. Humans were the spirit of all living beings and Gu were the essence of the world. After a Gu master's cultivation reached a profound level, they would understand a principle. A Gu master using Gu was not simply using the Gu worms as a tool, but rather it was a way to understand heaven and earth. Gu worms were the vessels that carry the law fragments of the great Tao. Refining Gu was not simply following random steps, but was based on the understanding of law fragments. A recipe not only contained the process of refining Gu, but even more importantly, it contained its creator's comprehension of heaven and earth. From this recipe, Fang Yuan could study the experimentation and insights of the original owner of this blessed land, the ancient strength path Gu Immortal. And when he compared them with his own experiences, he would gain an even deeper understanding of the great Tao. This was absolutely a beneficial matter. Gu Master can only have one aperture from birth, if there was a second aperture, this would truly be an act of defying heaven. I see why divine travel Gu was chosen. Fang Yuan opened his eyes after a long while, gaining a deeper understanding of the whole refinement process. Land Spirit, let's start the refinement. Okay. Land Spirit immediately responded and gave two kinds of materials and a Gu worm to Fang Yuan. First material was green pond rotten soil, which originated 10,000 feet deep under a rotten and poisonous marsh, and was extremely toxic. Even Fang Yuan's arm would be rotten within a few breaths if he touched it. Second material was a blood-colored powder, which had a rather large origin. The blood of eight kinds of immemorial desolate beasts were mixed, solidified, and then grinded to form this powder. The goo worm, however, was common and Fang Yuan had come in touch with it at King Mao Mountain. It was Earth Treasury Flower. Earth Treasury Flower was a storage goo. Flower Wine Monk planted it in the depths of the cave to store several goo worms, which were obtained by Fang Yuan in the end. With the land spirit's assistance, Fang Yuan mixed the green pond rotten soil and ate desolate blood powder. After the mixture became an evenly distributed soil, he planted the earth treasury flower in it. Earth treasury flower immediately decayed and died when it entered the soil. Whether it was the toxicity of the green pond rotten soil or the violent nature of the eight desolate blood powder, they both were something the earth treasury flower could not endure easily. However, Fang Yuan had already anticipated this situation and was not discouraged. Land Spirit took out another Earth Treasury Flower Gu, and Fang Yuan casually planted it. That ancient strength path Gu Immortal had already foreseen the probability of failure in every step and had thus prepared enough spare material. After continuously failing several times, Fang Yuan finally succeeded in planting the Earth Treasury Flower in the soil. Green pool rotten soil's toxicity and the blood power of the eight desolate blood powder formed a kind of subtle balance, causing a strange transformation within the earth treasury flower goo. This was the first step of the recipe rotten soil blood powder treasure flower in the earth. Next was jade bone turned into petals, ice mussels into stalks and golden relic into the heart of the flower. It required the use of jade bone goo, ice muscle goo and yellow golden relic goo along with skilled goo refinement techniques. Third step, bright stellar fire, gather ice and snow into plains. This could easily be misunderstood with stellar fire goo and snowy plain goo. But the firepower from that would be inadequate. In fact, the two phrases needed to be combined to be understood. The true answer was to use stellar fire prairie goo together with snowy plain goo. Only then would there be balance. Fang Yuan followed the order one by one. At the fourth step, Yang cloud burns with elixir fire below and Yin clouds scatter sand like gold above. This tested his multitasking ability. Fang Yuan first used Yang Cloud Goo with Elixir Fire Goo, then activated Yin Cloud Goo and used Golden Sand Goo. The yin and yang clouds mixed with the smoke from previous steps. 
spheres of fiery orange elixir fire rose up from the yang cloud. The golden sand fell down from the yin cloud like a light drizzle. Yin above and yang below is anti-balance, this is the critical juncture. Go, white elephant beast phantom. Fang Yuan's eyes burst out with divine light as he activated all-out effort goo and summoned white elephant phantom. White Elephant Phantom collided into the center of yin and yang clouds and was grinded down by elixir fire and golden sand. With a soft explosion, White Elephant Phantom turned into a ball of white light and revolved in the air. Again, Black Python Beast Phantom. Fang Yuan pointed and sacrificed another beast strength phantom. Black Python entered the center of the clouds and quickly turned into Black Ray and spun around the white light. The two were in an endless tangle. Stone Turtle Beast Phantom, Horse Beast Phantom. Another two beast phantoms flew out of Fang Yuan's body. Four beast phantoms tangled against each other and formed a whirlpool of colorful light, but there was still something lacking. Strange, why have they not fused? Fang Yuan was baffled. This was the first difficulty he had ran into. The colorful whirlpool was being grinded down by the elixir fire and the golden sand and was continuously becoming smaller. The multiple auras could not fuse together. Fang Yuan suddenly had a thought as he looked at the process which was about to end in failure. Wait a second, could it be? He began to control the four beast phantoms. White elephant beast phantom was steady and simple. Black python phantom was coiling and cold. Stone Turtle Phantom was still as a mountain, and Horse Beast Phantom ran with the wind. These four beast phantoms were just carelessly tangling with each other before, but under Fang Yuan's control now, each of them began to display their true disposition and nature. Boom! Thunder crackled and a strange transformation began. Yin and Yang clouds moved, Yin cloud sank down and Yang cloud rose up, the two forming into a whole entity. The mist surged and mixed ceaselessly with lightning and thunder constantly crackling inside. So it was like that. No wonder it needed strength path, Gu Master, although those who merely possessed beast phantoms would still not be able to succeed. The Gu Master must understand the true nature of each beast phantom to start the fusion. Fang Yuan let out a breath of relief and comprehended the process. Rumble. Lightning crackled and thunder exploded. The sound was like war drums, becoming more condensed and finally blending into one. Boom, boom, boom. Under continuous rumbling sounds, the mist completely fused into one color before suddenly exploding. A frenzy wind blew, dispersing all the clouds and mist. Only one goo remained in the air. This goo was rank 5 goo and was like a disc. Its surface was rough like an embryo made of grass and soil. In the middle of the disc was a ferocious beast with the head of a horse, tusks of an elephant, body of a turtle, and the tail of a snake. This is the beast's strength placenta goo. Fang Yuan relaxed his mind when he saw this goo. The moment he relaxed, he fell down to the ground and fell asleep. He had used a total of five days and five nights to refine this goo. He had not rested a moment during this time and had been multitasking the whole time. His mental energy had been used to the limits, and he was extremely exhausted. This sleep lasted for a day and a night before Fang Yuan woke up. He touched the beast's strength placenta goo and recalled the recipe. Yang cloud burns with elixir fire below and yin clouds scatter sand like gold from above, add beast phantoms in the middle till lightning crackles, creating beast strength placenta, and start collecting apertures. Next is gathering apertures. Thinking of this, he stood up and said to the land spirit, Bagui, it is time. Bagui was also straightforward. All right, I can send you to wherever you want to go in the blessed land. A large map appeared in front of Fang Yuan along with all kinds of scenes, displaying everything in the blessed land. Everything from goo masters, hairy men, dog beasts, and so on were clearly shown. This place... Fang Yuan searched through the map before his gaze fixed on a place and pointed at it. Next moment, Fang Yuan disappeared and appeared in front of Tai Mubai. Yu. Tai Mubai was exploring the inheritance and was slightly surprised by Fang Yuan's sudden appearance. 
but he calmed down soon and was just about to say something when Fang Yuan quickly waved his hand and luckily summoned a rock crocodile phantom. Bam! Tai Mu Bai's head was smacked by the rock crocodile's tail and it exploded like a watermelon. He was dead. Chapter 379 All According to Plan Fang Yuan killed Tai Mu Bai and immediately pounced on his headless corpse, grabbing his arm and letting his mind enter the aperture. The aperture walls were crystal clear as the primeval sea ebbed and flowed. Rank 5 Gu Masters have purple crystal primeval essence. Initial stage is light purple primeval essence, middle stage is violet purple primeval essence, upper stage is deep purple primeval essence, and peak stage is crystal purple primeval essence. Tai Mu Bai was a rank 5 peak stage Gu Master, he had crystal clear primeval essence like the liquid form of crystals, great power was hidden within its beautiful appearance. The difference between rank 5 peak stage and rank 4 upper stage was very huge. Furthermore, he had 98% of such primeval essence, even a hundred Fang Yuan could not compare to him. In the purple crystal primeval sea, there were goo worms flying. A golden small hand flew randomly above the sea like a golden light. This was Tai Mu Bai's vital goo the rank 5 Gu Worm that he had once used when he battled Ku Mo and Wu Gui on San Cha Mountain Turn Gold Gu. Turn Gold Gu had great power. Any life form that was hit by hit would turn into pure gold, losing their life. Even Ku Mo and Wu Gui did not dare to take the attack head on. As for Yi Huo, Kong Rai Tian, and the other rank 4 peak stage cultivators, they did not even dare to observe the battle, taking the initiative to avoid them. This was Tai Mu Bai's strongest long-range attack method. If Fang Yuan tried to use long-range battle, the beast phantoms that possessed the strength Kai would turn into golden statues after being hit by the golden light, sacrificing themselves. Fang Yuan would not be able to retrieve them anymore. Other than turn gold goo, at the bottom of the purple crystal sea, there was a yellow gold current. This current was like melted gold, swimming at the bottom of the sea. This was the liquid metal goo, also rank 5. Once activated, it had great defenses, and allowed a goo master to have no worries regarding defense. Most amazingly, it was liquid form, and could change its shape at will. Even if it was broken through, it could regather itself like water, and was a tough nut to crack. If Tai Mu Bai used liquid metal goo, even if Fang Yuan used all his strength, he would not be able to break this defense. In the purple crystal sea, there was another eyeball. It seemed inconspicuous, but it gave off a golden light at times, gathering attention and was more alluring than the stars in the sky. This was the Vajra Stair Goo. It was also rank 5, but was not an investigative method, rather it was an attack type goo. Once activated by a goo master, the formless stair gains attacking power, like a giant pole slamming into a person's heart. Once eye contact was made, it could directly attack an opponent's soul. This goo was hidden by Tai Mu Bai, even during the battle against Ku Mo and Wu Gui, it was not used. Once used, it would be a contest of souls between both Goo Masters, and the victor would be decided it was a trump card that should only be used at the end. Tai Mu Bai had once used many different Goo to strengthen his soul's foundation. Meanwhile, Fang Yuan walked the strength path, his soul was not strengthened. If Tai Mu Bai used the Vajra Stair Goo, he just needed to maintain eye contact with Fang Yuan for a second, and Fang Yuan's soul would be completely destroyed. To use this Vajra Stair Goo, golden eyes have to be used. If one used ordinary eyes for this, they might turn themselves blind. Only by using two golden eye goo and turning one's own eyes into golden eyes could they use the Vajra Stair Goo safely. Evidently, since Tai Mu Bai had the Vajra Stair Goo, he naturally had golden eyes. Just like how Fang Yuan turned his skin into bronze skin and bones into essence iron bones. Other than these three rank 5 Goo, Tai Mu Bai's body also had four rank 4 Goo worms. Golden Dragon Goo, Golden Breeze Goo, Golden Coat Goo, Golden Aurora Goo. All of them were outstanding goo worms and were high-quality goo worms within the metal path. 
these goo worms were all excavated by Fang Yuan. After confirming that Tai Mu Bai did not have any other goo worms on him, Fang Yuan took out the beast's strength placenta goo and activated it around Tai Mu Bai's stomach. After Tai Mu Bai lost his life, his aperture started to shrink. Right now, after being sucked by the beast's strength placenta goo, the aperture flew out of Tai Mu Bai's body and landed in the placenta, devoured by the wild beast inside the placenta. After devouring the aperture, the rough and coarse beast strength placenta goo became lustrous and shiny. The original embryo looked like it was made of soil and had crevices on the surface, but now it looked different, thick and tightly packed, just like a concrete brick. This beast strength placenta goo was used like this, according to the blessed land's original owner's peculiar idea. Continuously absorbing goo master's aperture, then slowly accumulating and changing qualitatively. To refine the second aperture goo, apertures were naturally the main ingredient. The beast strength placenta goo that was refined was intended to plunder other people's apertures. Killing lives to attain success, this was a demonic path method. One could easily tell that the ancient strength path goo immortal was not a kind person. This beast strength placenta goo, if others used it, they might feel guilt, but Fang Yuan was extremely fine with using it, he had no mental pressure at all. In his previous life, to refine the spring autumn cicada, he killed people in more than 10,000 miles of land, blood flowed into a river as he caused an immense bloodshed in the world, he could not even count how many people he killed. How could killing a single goo master now affect him? Good, good, good. This beast strength placenta goo, after absorbing Tai Mubai's aperture, it already raised the second aperture goo's aptitude to 40%. Great, excellent. Using numbers to make up for quality in order to break through, this is the rule of using sheer quantity to trigger a qualitative change. Going beyond the mortal world and becoming an immortal goo, how can there be no price to pay? Back then when I refined the spring autumn cicada, I slaughtered over 10 million people, that was also because of this. The better the aperture that is absorbed and the larger the numbers, the higher the aptitude of the second aperture goo that is refined in the future. Next, I have to kill goo masters, go on a killing spree and use all their apertures to raise my beast strength placenta goo. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Fang Yuan inspected the beast strength placenta goo carefully, extremely pleased, and raised his head up as he laughed. Why did he kill Tai Clan's group? It was to make Tai Clan furious and send a rank 5 goo master. The arrival of one rank 5 goo master would break the balance, causing a chain reaction and attracting even more rank 5 goo masters. These rank 5, rank 4 goo masters are all my prey. To assist me in refining the second aperture goo, Fang Yuan laughed. All his plots and schemes, these few years of planning, and all the risks he took, it was all for this moment. How incredibly amazing is this, this is the best feeling. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, his black hair flying with the wind as demonic blaze burned in his eyes. Looking at actual battle strength, the rank 5 peak stage Tai Mu Bai was over a hundred times stronger than Fang Yuan. Just simply the turn gold goo, if Fang Yuan was hit, he would be dead, there was no way to survive. Even if Tai Mu Bai only used rank 4 goo, his rank 5 peak stage crystal purple primeval essence was not something Fang Yuan's yellow gold primeval essence could compete with. But, in the Three Kings' inheritance, Goo Masters were restricted by the heavenly power and were unable to use their Goo Worms at the same time, their defenses were all limited, and they became extremely fragile. But Fang Yuan was different. He has the Land Spirit's help. What was the Land Spirit? The Lord of the Blessed Land. With its help, Fang Yuan could use his Goo Worms inside the Three Kings' inheritance. Meanwhile, Tai Mu Bai had his rank 5 peak stage cultivation, but his strong goo set was unusable. Standing before Fang Yuan, he was a living target, just a livestock. Stripped of all his defenses, he was fragile as a baby. He could not even use a single metal path goo worm, he could not even self-detonate. 
He worked hard all his life, accumulating this set of goo worms, and now it all went to Fang Yuan. After Fang Yuan killed Tai Mu Bai, he kept all the goo worms inside his aperture. The spring-autumn cicada's aura could only suppress rank 4 goo worms. These three rank 5 goo could not be controlled by Fang Yuan, but because of the location, these goo worms were restricted by the heavenly power, unable to move at all. As Fang Yuan's primeval essence refined them, they gave up and changed owners. Good, you obtained a rank 5 peak stage aperture. This way, the second aperture Gu's aptitude has risen to 40%. But you must take note, to transport you earlier and support your attack, we expended quite a bit of immortal essence. Land Spirit's voice came, warning Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan stopped laughing, his expression calming down, I have already considered that. He sneered, his eyes glowing with brilliance, as his tone was extremely confident and in control of the situation. He continued, Bagui, you have slept for too long, the blessed land was remodeled by the three kings, you lost too much control of it. Even as the spirit of the blessed land, although you can overwrite these changes, that would use up too much immortal essence. There is little immortal essence left inside the cauldron, if we split these essence into sixteen portions, then the amount we used earlier would be half a portion. Bagui was stunned, praising, You are absolutely correct. You actually managed to calculate the expenditure of the immortal essence so accurately, your performance has truly amazed me. Fang Yuan was a Gu immortal in his past life, he was extremely familiar with the use of immortal essence. It was easy to make such accurate calculations. I estimate that among the 16 portions, at least 8 is needed for the refinement of the second aperture goo. As for the remaining 8, we need 4 to sustain the blessed land, and to kill goo masters, we need a bit more than 3 portions. The final bit would be kept to deal with emergencies. But Ba Gui said, Young man, you are wrong this time. To refine the immortal goo, we need ten portions, and to maintain the three kings' inheritance, we only need two. After you kill enough people, I will close the blessed land. No, I am not wrong. Fang Yuan shook his head. To refine the second aperture goo, although we need to expend immortal essence, the expenditure of some steps can be replaced with primeval stones. That way, we can save two portions of immortal essence. Furthermore, you cannot close the inheritance, you have to keep the entrance open the entire time. Why? Lan Spirit asked. Fang Yuan replied, Because once you close the inheritance, the matter of me killing rank 5 Gu Masters would be exposed. By then, such a situation would attract even stronger foes. Even if you close the blessed land, you cannot chase away the Gu Masters who remain in the inheritance. That is because the three kings modified the blessed land, you will need to waste a lot of immortal essence to expel them. Immortal essence is already running low, even portion is important, it is needed for refinement. Towards the later stage of the refinement, immortal essence will run low, and the blessed land will be on the brink of collapsing and have lots of loopholes connecting to the outside world. It is no use closing the blessed land when your strength falls drastically, this hall would be discovered. By then, we would be attacked by the goo masters and the refinement would be likely to fail. After a while of silence, the land spirit said, You are right, but your method has a fatal flaw. If we use primeval stones to replace the immortal essence, you need at least 30 million primeval stones. Do you have so many? Fang Yuan laughed loudly. I only have a million primeval stones on me, it is obviously not enough. But it is not a problem, there are other Gu Masters, especially these rank 4 and 5 Gu Masters, they are definitely rich, after we kill them, do we have to worry about primeval stones? Ba Gui considered it for a bit. You are right, the help I can give you will shrink. Towards the end of the refinement, that is the most important step, we will act according to your suggestion. Chapter 380 Slaughtering Rank 5 A battle between dogs ended. Steel Armor Dog Group's defense is so strong. The Rank 5 Demonic Goo Master Kumo had several hundred Steel Armor Dogs around him, feeling extremely pleased. 
The steel armor dogs had thick leather armor, black and heavy like steel. In the King Quan inheritance, it had the greatest defense among dogs for the first 50 rounds. Just earlier, Ku Mo controlled the dog groups and had a victorious battle. His battle result was outstanding, using the dog enslavement Gu to recruit a Jade Eye Dog King. This Jade Eye Dog King was not only a hundred beast king, it also had a wild Gu Worm that was effective against the Yin Dogs. Last time, I failed because of the Yin Dogs. Ordinary dogs cannot hit these formless bodies. With the Jade Eye Dog King, I have no fear now. This was only the 18th round of the King Quan inheritance, and Kumo already had a dog king and a large number of steel armor dogs. He was after all a rank 5 Gu master, he had amazing methods. At the same time, his luck this time was great. King Quan inheritance was like this, it was the one which required luck the most among the three inheritances. If you start out well, your advantages will snowball and make it easier to pass the middle and later stages. Last time, I only got to the 68th round, I am too embarrassed to speak of such a result. This time I got lucky and had such a great start. But I cannot be complacent, Tai Mu Bai chose King's in inheritance this time, I heard that previously he got to over 80 rounds. Thinking of Tai Mu Bai, Ku Mo's heart became heavy. He knew that if he fought alone, he was not Tai Mu Bai's match. Thus, when he chose the inheritance, he purposely avoided Tai Mu Bai and chose the King Quan inheritance. The truth is, among the three inheritances, King Zin inheritance was the easiest to get through for the first few rounds. The Gu Master can disrupt the hairy men with words and win without a fight. This shortcut method was obviously spread out by Fang Yuan. Kumo thought about it for a while, before collecting his thoughts and decided to use his time to continue advancing through the rounds. Just at this moment, before him, space tore open and an unfamiliar young man appeared. Eh? Who is it? Kumo was shocked. He had tried the Three Kings' inheritance many times. He had a clear understanding of it, but this scene had happened before him causing him to be stunned in disbelief. The person was naturally Fang Yuan. He heard Ku Mo's shouting and laughed. Who is it? The person who wants your life? Saying so, he activated Golden Dragon Goo. The Golden Dragon appeared roaring. Its dragon whiskers swayed with the wind as its dragon eyes stared fiercely, brandishing its four fearsome claws. Ku Mo saw this and almost peed his pants. He screamed in disbelief. How can this be? How can you use any goo? How is this possible? Moments before death, he shuddered and activated his goo worms hurriedly. But he got no response. Roar! Golden Dragon came attacking, scratching and almost smashing his entire upper body. The great Ku Mo, an expert of a generation, an old demonic powerhouse, died just like this. When he died, he did not even manage to use his token. Of course, with the land spirit's manipulation, even if he used the token, there would be no effect. Golden Dragon Goo attacks really fiercely, but the handling is so rough, I cannot control it meticulously. Fang Yuan recalled the attack, he had wanted to just smash Ku Mo's skull, but he ended up destroying his entire upper body, slightly shocking him. Thankfully, the aperture was near the stomach and did not get destroyed. Fang Yuan walked forward, his mind entering the aperture, and started to loot it. Ku Mo had eight goo worms, but only one rank five goo, called Soft Bones Goo, it was very despicable. This goo could turn the bones of any life form soft within a radius of 25 kilometers. Even if Fang Yuan turned his bones into essence iron bones, he would still be affected and his bones would turn soft eventually. By then, Fang Yuan would have no way to fight back. Without his skeleton to support him, he would be like a paralyzed man, lying on the ground, his intestines would squeeze together, and his blood vessels and muscles would clog one another. Even without any external attacks before long, he would die from this. As for his other seven goo, they were all rank four. These goo all had to do with the bone path and were not particularly good ones. It's a pity, I do not know much about the bone path, the most I can do is scratch the surface of it. 
If I inherit this set of goo worms, the battle strength I can display would not be half of Kumo. I should keep it for now. Fang Yuan assessed in his mind. At Kumo's level, the goo set he created was completely customized for himself, using his battle style, his understanding of the bone path, and his understanding towards battles and goo masters. Fang Yuan was most skilled in the blood path. In his previous life, he benefited from the Blood Sea inheritance and used the Blood Path to start his conquest. He had a deep understanding of the Blood Path. If Kumo was a Blood Path Goo Master, the situation would be different. After taking Kumo's Goo Worms, Fang Yuan used the Beast Strength Placenta Goo and devoured his aperture. After receiving nutrients, Beast Strength Placenta Goo grew a little again. Its concrete surface had a thin layer of luster, and the surface was smoother, like poorly made porcelain. It was a pity for Kumo, a great expert born as a lone cultivator, slogging it out alone his whole life. He had many encounters and opportunities in his life, and together with his hard work, after experiencing great hardships, he reached this level. Eventually, he died, and all his hard work and fruits of his labor became Fang Yuan's loot. A great rank 5 Goo Master fell from the apex, becoming Fang Yuan's stepping stone. Too bad the dog enslavement Goo can't be taken back, if not these dogs would be mine to manipulate too. Fang Yuan looked at the dogs as he sighed, vanishing on the spot. A battle was ongoing intensely. Wu Gui manipulated the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, fighting and entangling with a large pack of lightning symbol dogs. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were a type of dog with great unity, the greater their numbers, the greater their strength. But Wu Gui was unlucky, he had only 40 or so Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. He placed these dogs at the front line, as he concentrated in controlling them. The Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were fighting a lightning symbol dog dog pack five times their sizes, they were all injured but not dead. The exquisite combination and cooperation showed Wu Gui's exemplary talent in enslaving beasts. Wu Gui had become an enslavement path Gu master many years ago, but eventually because of a lack of resources, he had to change paths. Swoosh! Fang Yuan suddenly appeared behind Wu Gui. Wu Gui was spending all his effort controlling the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, he did not sense Fang Yuan's arrival. If it was during normal times, he would use an investigative goo, and once Fang Yuan appeared, he would get attacked immediately. But in this goo immortal blessed land, he was just an ordinary person only able to control dog enslavement goo and some others, all the body modifications on him were also completely restricted. Of course, it was also due to Wu Gui concentrating deeply on the dog battle. Fang Yuan did not trash talk, he waved his hand and a bone spike flew out. Puchai, a crisp sound, and a long spear-like bone spike pierced Wu Gui's heart as the sharp pointy tip stabbed into the ground. Wu Gui's pupils shrunk to pin size as he was completely stunned and confused at this fatal attack. Who tried to kill me? He opened his mouth and fresh blood oozed out like a river. He slowly turned around, trying desperately to see the culprit's face. But unfortunately, he lost all signs of life when he turned halfway. Wu Gui's body collapsed like a pile of mud, hanging on the bone spike. This demonic expert, who was even more senior than Tai Mu Bai, famous 200 years ago, had died as well. When he died, his eyes were staring wide, trying to see who was his murderer. But this simple wish was not granted. The great Wu Gui died with a grievance. After he died, the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs who lost their master's manipulation immediately got engulfed by the lightning symbol dogs. These lightning symbol dogs howled as they pounced on Fang Yuan. Roar! Fang Yuan waved his hand as the golden dragon appeared again, slaughtering all these lightning symbol dogs who did not know better. Fang Yuan quickly came to Wu Gui's corpse, doing the same thing again keeping his goo worms, then feeding his aperture to the beast strength placenta goo. Wu Gui had one rank five goo. It was oval and black like a Yuhua stone one. But the surface had seven white markings, and it looked extremely peculiar and dark. It was the pitch black goo. 
Once the goo is activated, it would ooze out black smoke. Any goo worms below rank 6 would get contaminated by the black smoke and receive various degrees of sealing, losing their abilities. As for his other goo worms, there were 8 to 9, all rank 4. But they were mixed among different paths and were a mess, unlike Ku Mo and Tai Mu Bai's complete goo set. These are Wu Gui's goo worms, although they can form into a set, they are not a complete set. The reason why he can roam the southern border is mostly due to the pitch black goo. Undeniably, pitch black goo is an extremely useful rank 5 goo. Fang Yuan was extremely happy to have obtained it. He kept the pitch black goo into his aperture but placed the rest of the rank 4 goo into his pocket. His aperture already had many goo worms among them, he had 5 rank 5 goo worms and many rank 4 goo. This was placing a lot of pressure on his aperture. Mostly importantly, it was due to the spring autumn cicada, this rank 6 goo was recovering, and it was emitting great pressure on Fang Yuan's aperture. The flow of time in the blessed land is three times out the outside world, accelerating spring autumn cicada's recovery. I have to race against time, quickly refining the second aperture goo. With the second aperture, I would be able to relieve the pressure spring autumn cicada is giving me. To Fang Yuan, the situation was extremely rushed. He did not only want to refine the second aperture goo, he also wanted to guard against this major threat, the spring autumn cicada. Towards the end of the refinement, the blessed land would be full of flaws, and after connecting to the outside world, he might receive the group attack of many goo masters. By then, the land spirit would be weak and powerless, it would be useless and Fang Yuan would be in the most danger during that period. Refining the second aperture goo, the closer we get to the end, the tougher it gets. Especially that final step, I need to use the divine travel goo, I will need to focus and concentrate, my body would be in huge danger. Wu Gui's demise was the best lesson to Fang Yuan, he had to guard against such situations but his situation was slightly different. I have another chess piece that is Bai Ning Bing. Haha, <laughs> she used the poison Val Gu before, she can be trusted. It seems that towards the end, I will need her to protect me. Thinking so, Fang Yuan vanished and appeared before Bai Ning Bing. Fang Yuan, how did you get here so suddenly? Bai Ning Bing looked at Fang Yuan, shocked and suspicious.